Hello and welcome to Maths with the Prof. Hello. In this video, I'm going to do some elementary number theory and in particular focus on Euler's theorem. Okay, Euler's theorem tells us that if A is an integer and M is a positive integer, then if A and M are relatively prime, then a to the Euler phi function of m is equivalent to 1 mod m. Okay, so this is very important. Okay, and this should look a little bit familiar, right? Because uh, it kind of takes the form of Fermat's uh, little theorem. And in fact, Fermat's little theorem is thus a specific case of Euler's theorem. Right, or M would be replaced with a P, right? So a P right here, where P is prime. Um, and the phi sub of P would be P minus 1, right? That we know that A to the P minus 1 is going to be equivalent to 1 mod P by Fermat's little theorem, right? And that's as long as P is a prime number and A is an integer where P does not divide A, right? And in essence, that's what A and M being relatively prime is indicating anyway, okay? Now, recall that this Euler phi function is the function defined by phi of n is given by the magnitude of the integers that are less than or equal to n and relatively prime to n, right? Where n is a positive integer. So in other words, phi of n is the number of positive integers less than or equal to n that are relatively prime to n, okay? So at this point, let's look at a short example. We already have it written out so it'll be easier for us to look at and that is that if we want to find the least positive solution to 79 to the 79th is equivalent to x mod 9 what we have to do is think about how we can work with what we have. Okay. Well given that we're talking about Euler's theorem all right, given that we're talking about Euler's theorem, let's look at how we could write this. So 9 is 3 squared. So that means that the Euler phi function of 9 is going to be the magnitude of those numbers relatively prime to 9 that are less than or equal to 9. All right? Well, in essence, everything that does not have 3 as one of its prime factors. So 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, 8. There are 6 of these numbers, so the phi function of 9 is 6. Okay. Now, given that 79 and 9 are relatively prime, by Euler's theorem, 79 to the 6th power, right, that's phi of 9, is equivalent to 1 mod 9. That's what we're talking about right up here. Okay. Now, Given that 79 is 6 times 13 plus 1, we can write 79 to the 79th power, which is what we have here, as 79 to the 6th power raised to the 13th power times 79. Because a power to a power is multiply. 6 times 13 is 78, right? And then the implied 1 up here, that gives us the 79 powers, right? Now we've got 78 powers right here, and then that 79th power right there. Hence, 79 raised to the 79th power is equivalent to 1 to the 13th times 79 mod 9. Why 1 to the 13th? Well, that's because 79 to the 6th is equivalent to 1 mod 9. All right? Now, since 79, right, this 79 right here, is equivalent to 7 mod 9, then 79 raised to the 79th power is equivalent to 7 mod 9, and that's going to be our least positive solution, x equals 7. All right? Now, technically, x 
if I wanted the general solution, x would be 7 plus 9t, where t would be some integer. Right? So really and truly, I could use 16, 7 plus 9. That would work. I could use 25, 7 plus 9 times 2. That would work. I could even use negative 2, 7 plus 9 times negative 1, okay? Now, let's look at our next little information here, and that is that if m is a positive integer, then a set of phi of m integers, such that each element of the set is relatively prime to m, and no two elements of the set are congruent modulo m, is said to be a reduced residue system modulo m. And I will sometimes simplify that reduced residue modulo system with RRS, but many times you'll just see it written out, reduced residue modulo system. Okay, we'll look at what that means in just a moment. Okay, additionally, if m is a positive integer and we have this reduced residue system modulo m given by r sub 1, r sub 2, all the way to r sub v of m, then a times r sub 1, a times r sub 2, all the way to a times r sub v of m is also a reduced residue system modulo m, where a is an integer and a and m are relatively prime. So let's look at the example for this information, okay? Find two distinct reduced residue systems, right, modulo 12, okay? Well, phi of 12 is the magnitude of the set of integers relatively prime to 12 that are less than or equal to 12, and I should say positive integers, right? Well, 12 we know is 3 times 4, right? We know that 12 is equal to 3 times 4, which would be equal to 3 times 2 squared. So that means that I am going to consider the integers less than or equal to 12 that do not have 3 or 2 as part of their prime factorization. All right? So the set of relatively prime positive integers to 12 are 1, 5, 7, and 11, right? And that is a magnitude of 4 because there's four elements in the set, right? So hence, this set, 1, 5, 7, and 11, is a reduced residue system modulo 12. And that's how it's defined, okay? And additionally, from this second piece of information, a times 1, a times 5, a times 7 and a times 11 is also a reduced residue system modulo 12, where a and 12 are relatively prime. In other words, where a would be equal to 1, 5, 7, or 11, right? So I could have 5, 25, 35, 55, right, as a reduced residue system modulo 12, and I could also have 7, 35, 49, 77 as a reduced residue system modulo 12, okay? So that's a little bit with uh, work with Euler's theorem. We'll do some practice problems in our next videos. Thank you for your time doing some math with El Profe Lo. We look forward to working with you again.